Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I am going to be unboxing the FabFitFun for fall 2020. Now you're probably wondering, that's not a FabFitFun box. Well, I don't know what happened, but they just sent it in a regular FedEx box, so we'll get that into that in a minute. Um, but if you're unfamiliar with FabFitFun, they are a quarterly lifestyle subscription for each season. So this is fall. They also do winter, spring, and summer. This box is $50 a quarter, but if you sign up annually, you can get it down to be about $45 a box. I do also have a link or code down below where you can get $10 off of your first box. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I do lots of different subscription box unboxing videos here. So if you're a sub box lover like me, go ahead and subscribe. And if you've been around on my channel for a while, you know this looks different. And this is probably the first time you're seeing the new background. This is my quote, new studio. My sister moved out, so I've turned the extra room into a studio. Still have some kinks to work through. This is one of the very first videos I'm filming here. So I apologize if the audio seems weird or if I keep looking over here, I'm actually using a brand new camera. I, it's a little echoey in here, so I need to figure that out. But for today, it is what it is. Let's get into this box. We'll start with the box. This is not what it's supposed to look like. I'll insert a picture of what it actually should look like. Um, I don't know what happened, and I'm, I'm guessing it might be related to, to COVID why I didn't get that box, but a lot of other people have gotten it, and because I'm an annual member, they ship all of ours, or the annual subscriber stuff out before they ship out the other people. So I'm, if I didn't get one, I don't know how anyone else is supposed to be getting one, especially for the month, the like, quarterly subscribers that only pay per quarter. So I don't know what happened there. In the comments below, did any of you just get a random FedEx box? Here's the problem with the FedEx box. Let me open it up. If you look inside, they put this one piece of paper. Look how much room there is. All that stuff was just bumping around through shipment. And so some of my products look like absolute crap. Like they look like they've been like tossed and thrown and they look like old product. I'm sure they're not. Um, but I did send um, customer service an email last Thursday. Still haven't gotten a response. I know that they're probably slow at responding just because of COVID and everything. It's fine if it comes in a FedEx box and I don't get like the FabFitFun labeled box, but it's not okay to me that my product was like thrown around, bumped, and looks like crap because of that. Um, they should have packaged that much better. So a little bit salty about that, that this season. Um, but let's get into the actual contents of the box. So for me, it was on the very bottom, but I did receive a magazine. It's a little obviously kind of crinkled because it was just thrown at the bottom of the box. Um, and inside it's gonna tell you all about the products. It's gonna have, it's like a magazine. So there's also gonna be some information about each of the products and some articles that you can read through. There are certain items that you, all members can pick. I think there's like three, then select members, which are the annual subscribers get to pick a few more. And then there were a few items that FabFitFun picked for everybody. So the very first item I picked looks like this. This is the Mia Melange foldable cotton basket, which retailed for $60. Let me take it out of the packaging and then I'll talk about the other options. So this is what the basket looks like. It kind of has these like slit cut handles here um, and like the black and white, the kind of woven effect to it. It's about that big if you wanna see like circumference wise. It's a cute basket. Now this is actually, I chose this for my sister because she moved out. Her kind of theme is like black and minimal. So I got her this because she liked it. I didn't really like any of the other options. So all the other options are here on this page. So you could have gotten this Stila, I think it's Stila, right? Yeah, Stila mascara and eyeliner, the Foxy Bay um, curling wand. This is a Bakkier. I think that's how you say it. Backpack, you could have also gotten the bot Kate first. And then these little, I think these are Uncommon James, is that right? Yeah, a set of two copper canisters. If I had picked something for myself, it probably would have been the backpack, but I just felt like, I don't know, felt a, the, they felt a little bit dated to me. I think they're still cute, so if you pick them, this is no offense to you, but I felt like, I just felt like, I don't know. I just didn't love the, the choices. Um, and. I didn't need the canisters. I already have a curling wand. I didn't need more makeup because I have other makeup subscriptions. So I think that this is really cute. It's not not my style. I probably, I was actually, I could have gotten this for myself, but I definitely thought that my sister could benefit from it. So that is for her. So for the second selection that everybody got to choose, and again, that was one that everybody got to choose, I got the Volition Celery Green Eye Cream. Just take a look at that packaging. It, um, this is how it came to me. That's because of the packaging. The cream itself inside is fine, but like to me, I'm paying $50 a month. That doesn't seem, 
I don't know, it's, it is what it is. This retails for $55. Um, I needed a new moisturizer, which is why I chose this. I'm gonna open it from the bottom because it's already completely falling apart. Um, I don't know what customer service is gonna say. I don't. I mean, they don't need to replace anything, but I just want to let them know that I wasn't happy. <laughs> um, so this is what the cream looks like uh, there. It does have a scent to it because I already kind of looked at it. It's kind of like this green gel consistency. Now, because of my oily skin, I do prefer more gel-like moisturizers. It has a light... Um, kind of sweet vegetable scent, but in like a good way. It absorbs quickly. Um, I think the only thing that I'm concerned about is the scent, making sure that it leaves my face so that I don't like get a headache or anything like that, but it feels really good. I definitely need a new moisturizer, so I'm super excited to get this. So some of the other stuff you could have gotten were the Infinity Scarf here, um, the Glossmetics hair removal device down here, that looked terrifying to me. Um, the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Pore Refining Serum, that's probably what I, w I was debating between that and this or getting both, um, but I just chose the moisturizer. You could have gotten the scarf with fringe right there and the Erno Laszlo Clay Mask, which I think I've already gotten maybe in a FabFitFun before. They do have some like throwback products as well. Um, so if you weren't subscribed or you're a new subscriber, you still have the chance to get those. I think I'm happy with my choice. The scent is like kind of going away now or dissipating, so I think that this will be good, but until I try it on my skin, it's really hard to know how it'll perform, but I'm very happy with that selection. So the third choice is packaged like this. I chose the Nectar Sunglasses or Blue Light Blocking Glasses. So they're called, that's Nectar Sunglasses, but these aren't sunglasses. These are just blue light blocking glasses in brown turquoise. Apparently these retail for $45. This is what they look like there. Now, I didn't really love anything in this category, so I went for these. I I can't remember if it's this brand. I got some like this in FabFitFun before that gave me a headache, and I think it's because I have 20-20 vision, and I think that the glasses probably weren't 20-20. There's probably something off in the lens itself, and so it was giving me a headache because it wasn't matching my vision. Ooh, wait, those are really cute on me. I mean, you can see the ring light. Let me look down. <laughs> Those are really cute. They're blue light blo blocking glasses. They're good when I'm editing or on the computer a lot for my job. They block out the blue light. Um, they're very lightweight, which is nice, but I also feel like you could snap these. I mean, you gotta be careful with these. If you have like young kids, or if like an, if your like dog or cat took these, like they're, they're gone, they're broken. <laughs> but I do think that they're really cute. Um, and I'm, I, I guess I'm happy that I chose them, but I have to see if when I wear them, they actually give me a headache or if they're actually gonna you know work for me. The other things that you could have chosen in that category were the Jenny Bird Austin Cuff. Not my style at all. Uh, I just, if you like it, that's fine. It's just, I, I really don't like it. Um, then the Jenny Bird Pendant. That was pretty, but I don't wear a lot of silver jewelry, so it's not really my kind of style. And they also have the Vitamask sheet mask set. I have a ton of sheet masks, which is why I didn't choose that. And then they also had the Beauty Bakery Proof is in the Puddin' Palette, which I already have received in a previous FabFitFun. So the glasses were the only really like logical choice. I do think that they are cute, but I just hope that they don't give me a headache. I don't remember if it was Nectar or whatever brand, but it gave, there was another one. The ones that I got in the Pop Sugar, I love. I love those. Those are really good. They don't give me a headache, but I don't know about this brand. The next thing I chose is again, in a battered, gross looking package. Like this just looks old. And I know it's just because of the, the transit, but this is the Anastasia Beverly Hill Clear Brow Gel, which retails for $22. I love this. I've purchased this on my own before and that's why I received it. There's nothing really else in that category that I loved. Um, I know some people don't like this because it does make, it, it does like lock your brows in place and it's a little bit crunchy, but it locks them in place. So that's why I like it. I do have longer. Um, I'm not gonna open it quite yet because I need to use up my benefit one. Um, I'll show you the wand in the picture. Um, but I have longer brow hairs, so I do like to put a gel to kind of lock them in place so that they don't do funny things throughout the day. And I really do like this one. This has been one of my favorites. Um, now some of the other things that you could have received in that category, um, were this mason jar water bottle. I have so many water bottles that I could like drown in them. Um, the brow gel, that's what the wand looks like in case you're curious there. Um, you could have also gotten the Skin & Co 
um, whipped cleansing cream, which I think I already own. The Feel Beauty Walnut Exfoliator. Don't use, I don't, I don't recommend walnut for exfoliating, so I didn't want to get that. The Frank Body Ocean Coffee Scrub was the other choice that you could have received, and I already have owned that before, and I'm not a huge fan of that one specifically. Um, so that's why I chose the Benefit Brow Gel. This is not Benefit. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel. That's why I chose this one because I definitely know that I like the product and nothing else really caught my eye. This next category, again, I really didn't know what to choose. This probably wasn't my favorite fall box. I just, I don't know. It felt very random. It did feel kind of fall, but um, I chose this cutlery set. So let's get it out. It's packaged like, what is all this extra plastic for? They could have used, <laughs> did not need all of that packaging. So this is what it looks like. It's pretty cute. Um, this, what do they call this? This is the hip cutlery set. It retails for $14.99. Honestly, I don't really worry about the retail value of products on these things because they can do what they want for some of these. So it just comes with a plastic um, knife, yeah, fork and spoon. It's kind of sporky. It's kind of in a spoon shape. Um, so it's a little plastic set that you, I guess you can take with you on the go. So I figured, okay, well, I don't know if I really need this, but it could be a useful item if I can close it again. Don't put the head of the stuff in the small side. Learn your lesson. There you go. I think it's cute. Um, is this dishwasher safe? The nice thing about these, and this is part of the other reason why I chose them, is that they're sustainably um, crafted, made from wheat straw, and eco-friendly natural material that derives from wheat production. Um, so I probably, if it's not like plastic plastic, so it should disintegrate better. It doesn't say, oh, it's dishwasher safe. Okay, good. Good to know, BPA free. But the dishwasher safe thing is a big deal for me, so. That's cool. I don't know if I'll ever use it, but I have it now. You could have also received the NCLA cuticle oil uh, and horchata. I don't really use cuticle oils. I've gotten them and I just don't really use them. There's also a stress reliever hair oil. That was interesting, but I just don't, I feel like that's, I wouldn't use it. <laughs> um, they had these little eight other reasons runaway clips. They were cute as well. Again, I don't really wear a ton of clips in my hair like that. And then the Harper and Ari Exfoliating Sugar Cubes and Juice Cleanse. Now we've received these before. I love them, so I was actually thinking about getting them over this, but I decided to go with this since I've already had them before, but I do really like those. If you chose those, those are a really great choice. So I forgot to mention that the all of the four and five, so the brow gel and cutlery and everything on this page, you could have only selected if you were an annual member. Um, so if you're just a regular subscriber or a quarterly subscriber, you wouldn't get to choose that. FabFitFun would choose for you. Now, for the sixth, seventh, and eighth item, there was a variety of products you could have received that FabFitFun chose for you. I'm, I don't know if I got the products that I want. One of them will be going in a giveaway, but we'll get to that one. <laughs> so the first thing that they chose for me and this is from choice six was the laundress crease release um classic wrinkle remover i'm not mad about it retails for 16 bucks i don't know let me open it up to see what it smells like don't know if i like the smell of that it has a very laundry like smell but i use unscented laundry <laughs> products so i don't i don't know if, i don't love the smell of like laundry products if you know what I mean like the typical laundry products it's not bad I don't I've never had a wrinkle release product before so it's cool to have I may use it I might not use it I'm not really sure what I'll do with this I mean I'll, I know what I'll do with this it's just I don't I, I probably will forget to gravitate towards it so I need to like put it in a, a spot that I don't forget about the other things you could have gotten the first one was the Vosh New York pedicure in a box duo and the pumpkin spice and I've got I really like their pedicure sets and I really I would have wanted that that's what I would have wanted because that's that screams fall to me and the other one you could have gotten was the sponge gel box flower in cedarwood they're basically a sponge with body wash in them I really like them um but I have some so I'm, I'm happy I didn't get that I would have wanted this or the foot foot pedicure thing. So I'm fine with this. I, I'm happy with it. For the seventh product, I received the Hythe Tranquility Sleep Mist, which retails for $22. This one says that shipping restrictions may apply. So I'm guessing if you live in the UK or Canada, you might not have been able to get this product. So this is what it looks like out of the package. I'll be honest, I'm not a huge sleep mist kind of person. I don't really want scent on my pillow because if I don't like it, I will get a headache. Um, so I don't know. I might use this more as like a room spray. I'll give it a little spritz just to see what it smells like. Well, that just like went nowhere. Let me spray it on my hand. Mm. Oh, I just like kissed it. It smells like dirty lavender to me. Not necessarily a bad way. It has lavender, oil, witch hazel, and rice water. I don't love that. I don't really like that smell. I've had like 
sleep sprays that I don't mind the scent of. I, I don't know. I don't, I feel like it makes, it kind of smells like old lavender. Like it makes it smell old. I don't know, I'll have to see if I'm gonna use that or not. Maybe I'll put this in a giveaway. Um, but uh, it's it's okay. I, I'm not like excited about it You could have also gotten the stone candles room spray and Santal noir or in pumpkin spice That's probably what I probably would have wanted the pumpkin spice one because I'm basic um, Then you could have also gotten the nature lab Tokyo perfect repair hair treatment mask would have also loved that because I love um, Hair masks. so this I don't really care for this. I would have much rather had something else, but FabFitFun chose for me and I will be fine with that. Then the last product is the one that I, I'm not going to use. This is the Beauty Crop Glow Milk. Um, this is basically like a liquid highlighter. Um, this retails for $19.50. This is what it looks like here. I'm just not into glowy highlighter products like the liquid. It's just not my thing. I love highlighter, just not liquid. So I'll put this in a future giveaway. You could have also received the Z Ziggy and Maris pouch stripe. I'm happy I didn't get that because it, I have so many bags from Ipsy that I just don't need that. And the other one was the Beauty, Beauty Paper or Papier Golden Superfood Shower Gel, which is up here. That's probably what I would have wanted from that. If I could have chosen from here, I would have picked that shower gel, the pumpkin spice like foot things, and probably either the room spray in pumpkin spice or the hair mask. That's what I would have chosen, and I didn't get those, but I'm, I'm okay with this one is probably the one I'm most happy about from the products that they chose for me. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Did you like what you received this month, uh, or this quarter, excuse me, were you happy with the fall box? I, it's not bad, it doesn't scream fall. I feel like if they had put like pumpkin products in everybody's boxes, it would have felt more fall, but nothing that I receive screams fall. Like nothing that I actually chose screams fall. So, I mean, it's fine. I'm not mad about it. It's just like, this is a kind of boring box for me. I don't, I'm not like mad at the box. I'm kind of in the middle, you know what I mean? Like I'm not super excited. That's not one of my favorites. I'm not, I'm also not like upset about it. I'm upset about the shipping. I will say that. I don't like the way that it was shipped to me. I don't think that, that, that that's acceptable. I received many, many subscription boxes here on this channel and I really don't run into that very often because it's packaged very well and that was not packaged well at all. Um, so they also like, they have the, their new boxes are supposed to be more like eco-friendly and recyclable. So obviously I can't really show you that. I mean, they use paper packaging, but it completely didn't work. And if it's not gonna work, what's the point? Um, so anyway, I'm a little salty this month about it. It's, or quarter, I, I'm not, as you see, I'm talking in circles because I just don't really know how to feel like I'm not upset with the products that I receive, but I'm just kind of like underwhelmed. Like there's, I'm going to be unboxing other lifestyle quarterly boxes on this channel, like Cosbox. I'm much more excited about this quarter. Um, Rachel Zobox style. That one's very expensive, but I think I'm more excited about the products that I'm getting in that box over this box. So um, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Again, I do have a coupon code where you can get $10 off of your first box and I will see you in my next video.